Um, I like using this one, running a seminar. Now, wh why do I say that? I, as we transition to maybe offer marketing communications, it needs to be more than just one piece. A seminar is a great campaign that marketers do all the time. Many moving components, right? You get the registrations, you get the, the invites, email invites, hard copy invites, you get the books, you get everything. Nice program. So what if I was local? I was going on social media. I wanted to find everybody that was running the seminar. Look, find them. Potential business. Right? She's telling you right here. Explorer is running a seminar on US stats to sell at the HP. Well, if I follow and explore, maybe I can introduce myself and say, could I help you with that seminar? In any way, right? So another way that you can use the tool to find potential prospects. Oh, find out who's talking about you, right? Very important. Don't you want to hear from other people saying bad things? I, don't, I know that nobody ever says anything bad about my company, but if they do and they're on here, they're going to type it in there and then I can at least address it, right? So. You can look at JetBlue. JetBlue is a real example for me, and I have another uh, real example. But JetBlue, I, I had a question. You know, once I got on JetBlue, everyone said, "You know, what do you fly?" I said, "First class. I fly JetBlue. I love it. I loved it. And I always flew to California, way back then, right?" So it came on. This is great. Now they're the last people to put Wi-Fi on their phone, right? So they got the technology, the TVs, but the last one, I'm, I'm still dying. So I have to wait. But I asked a question, and they responded to me right here, like that. They answered my question. Customer service. I still love it. Right? Here's a customer service use. Young college student, uh, Mr. Grabber, one, that's his Twitter handle, asked a question. I'll, I'll read it. I call it Babson Portal and Black, Blackboard are not loading from Comcast ISP. Anyone else? He was really asking his friends. Who responded? Comcast cares. They do a search all the time from a customer service standpoint. He says, at Ember Rock, we would really need to see full trace. Email us at wecanhelp.cable.comcast.com. Customer service use. Right? At Comcast Cares. Now he's told all his friends this now. Response really was quick and good, and I did send an email with full trace, sir. Now he's told his friends how great the customer service is. At Comcast, are we getting it? Right, just a couple of uh, simple examples. Best practices. You've got to be active. You have to participate. You have to engage. This isn't some of those things that you start up and then not do anything. All right. So you have to be a part. Of, uh, you want to seek out. Now that I told you, you can seek out uh, prospects and customers. Do that. You want to share information. Um, there's different types of Twitterers, uh, thought leaders, and then there's just pure sales folks. All they do is put on there, and, and we don't like them. Maybe, I better be kidding, <laughs> you know, uh, postcards, you know, eight cents a piece, four thousand. You know, I'm not saying you can't do that every once in a while. I'm actually talking to Paul, every once in a while he'll drip some special in that he might want to put in there. But some people just do that every day, you know, and, and I'm just thinking, you know, they just miss, they're, they're killing our, they're killing our business, right? They're commodity, you know, commoditizing over and over again. But anyway, share information. You can link in videos and pictures and if you all take a moment to do join and follow me, you'll see what I do. I didn't dream this up last week on what I do. I followed some of the better folks and learned what they did, just as if I had to go, I just didn't have to go to college to do it. Learned and said, hey, I'll do this. Right? Use tracking tools. One called iLeave.me, Bitly. Those are the shortening URLs because how can you put 140 characters? Type and you say, geez, that's not enough words. Well, you can put the link to a bigger piece like your website, or maybe a video. I always want to put a slide in here that shows all these places you can take them from one little place, right? Maybe your blog and your website. Fundamentals, you're going to see this over and over again. Build your network. Engage with the network that you built. Be consistent, track and analyze. Is it working for me? Facebook, time check. Time check. Halfway. Okay, great. Thank you. Facebook helps you connect with people in your life. I struggled with this one too. A lot of personal stuff up there. I'm like, geez, uh, uh, who cares? I want you to know about me. I want you to do business with me. I want you to know that I'm married. I have three boys 23, 15, 13. Handsome dogs, if I may say. They look like their mother. Right? And um, what else would I might want you to know? I might, might want you to know that they play hockey. 
talked about this in the last time. Next thing you know, I walk out the door and the guy says, well, my kid plays hockey too. One of the printers, I, I'm sorry, the filming companies from MFSA. How great was that connection? Right? This is what I was going to about. Facebook, you can do it and you can build it for your business. I'm going to show you how to use that today, right? It's a free social network used by people and by companies. And you can host um, and put up fan pages. S small example. Around the corner from my house is this uh, old local restaurant called Rocco's. I never thought they would do this. As a matter of fact, I had to stumble upon them doing it. They have 280 people that signed up for Facebook that follow them. So if they post up something on Facebook, you know, uh, special of the week, you know, they got it on the billboard every day, special of the week, everybody can choose to read that because it tells them that it's been updated on their wall or wherever and they go look at rock rockers. Right? So you can tell people what's going on. Uh, you can use this as an extension of your website. You can do that with all these social medias. Uh, put that human side of your company forward. You can do that on the other ones, but I'd like it here. Uh, you can stay on top of mind of your followers. I spammed all my friends at first because I put my Twitter feed into my Facebook. And they're like, Jesus. <laughs> I, first of all, they never knew what I did anyways. Now they're like, oh man, I, I don't even want to know what he does, right? Because I was telling them everything I was doing every second. Um, but you can do event promotions, open houses. Um, you can have discussion boards in there. The cons requires time and effort again. We have to build one. You got to weed through the people's fans, even my own kids playing games, and there's all kinds of questionnaires. But you can zip right through them. Uh, it's not as obvious to measure success except by these fans, and then obviously you'd have to ask them how they found out. But again, it's another channel. And then what happens if things go bad, right? So something gets wrong and people are posting on your thing that they're unhappy with your service. You, it's actually it's bad, but it's good because now you can respond to that, right? But that's a, a possibility. Let's get yourself out there. Um, anybody have a Facebook page for their company today? All right, good. Geez, that's interesting. No, it's really not. Twitter, not as many hands. Facebook, more hands. You just came in at a different angle. Great, I commend you for giving it a shot and trying to learn through it. So it's a learning process. Um, it's simple. You put a logo, name, and you put some content up there. And keep putting more content up. So I take every time that I speak at uh, an event, I'll take little blips of that, and I use it everywhere. Right? Because I want to speak it on demand. Right? Why would I want to speak it on demand? Because I want to be able to get in front of my prospects and customers maybe potentially tell them what I do, run about my company. So we post it on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. All right? Um, there's other things you can put up there. You can put, you know, where you're at. So we were at Chicago. We told them what booth. We build a fan base. Now the fan base started with my kids at first. And even I had to like prod them. Listen, we need more fans. This is way back when, but you know, now we have customers and prospects that get on there, and, and they can choose to use that. And I'm going to use an example today, Craig Dellinger's example of how he used Facebook to make money. So if you don't think you can make money using this, then you don't have to listen anymore. I promise. But you can, and uh, you know, we'll talk about that example. Here's a couple examples of some Facebook pages of. Uh, some franchisees of uh, Sir Speedy as an example, and uh, Mike Williams, I know him that manages this thing, h and Graphic, just speaking with a customer who was delighted with the marketing campaign we developed for his business. Measurable response rates, trackable ROI, happy clients. Does it get any better? Right? Now, if he can get a prospect to come read that, he didn't say anything about how he does, you know, four up and gloss and it's got a chronic criminal theme, whatever. I, I don't even know them, right? But he didn't say that. He just told an example of how he's brought customer satisfaction using maybe what other those he didn't talk about the tools or anything, but there was another way for him to communicate that message. He posts marketing topics. Now he's a thought leader too, so I don't know if anybody heard of Jeffrey Gittimer. He's a popular speaker around sales. And he's a fun guy. I wish I could be as fun as him sometimes. But anyways, he really is not. And, and he asked him, he posted one of Jeffrey's things, asked, how much time should I invest in promoting and positioning my business? His answer more than you think you should. And it's true, even here. You know, so, anyways, but all they do is putting topics up there that people could read. You can brand yourself. You saw that in my example, you saw it in these two. These two, and I'll show you one at the end. Complimon, they're a uh, fulfillment uh, digital printer in New York. Very active in social media uh, early on. Lisa O'Brien, that's how I met her. This is not my customer. I just want to show you this. It's not all about my customers that use this. this is folks that use this tool to communicate with their folks. 
Um, Mailing Fulfillment Service Association. They have a photo album up on Flickr, right? But they've had it connected to their Facebook page. So people can come look at what they did here at the event. Why? Because we want other people to come to this event. NAQP and NAPO, we want other people to come and learn more, right? So, you know, what's good and bad happening there? And, you know, trust me, Karen, the little side note, my VP of sales, we've been working together for 11 years. You can ask Jason, 10 years. Don't take my picture, I'm not ready, because she knows it's going to go right to the internet. You know, so anyways, uh, sit there as you get your information up there. 